Today I'm going to be sharing how to overcome limiting beliefs. This is honestly one of the biggest lessons that I had to learn in my journey and today I want to share some strategies with you that can also help you to overcome any limiting beliefs that you might have. So a limiting belief is basically just a negative thought or idea that you hold about yourself or about others or about the world around you and these thoughts and beliefs essentially hold you back from ever reaching for your goals, putting in action, actualizing your potential and living your best life. So the first thing that you need to do is identify your limiting beliefs. So before we can make any kind of change, we need to bring awareness to the problem, right? So what you want to do is set aside some time for yourself just to reflect and really look at what it is that you believe about yourself about your capabilities as it relates to your goals. So identify any limiting beliefs. Uh, a limiting belief could be, for example, if your goal is to start a business, a limiting belief could be, I'm too young to start a business, I'm too inexperienced, or I'm too old to start a business even. So that is a limiting belief because it limits you, it stops you from working towards your goal. So once you've identified this limiting belief, you need to start to challenge this belief, right? So you want to actually ask yourself, is there evidence of this? Is it really true? Is this based on reality? Or is this belief based on something that someone else told me? Am I internalizing this belief from what someone else said? Is it maybe a past experience, you know, like a negative experience that made me believe this? Or is it, you know, based on reality? Is it really true? And a lot of the times you'll find that that limiting belief actually isn't true and there's no real evidence behind it, right? So saying I'm too young to start a business, where's the evidence of that, right? You wouldn't know if you haven't tried. And there's many young people out there who have started successful businesses, right? So once you've challenged your belief, you can now replace your limiting belief with a more positive and empowering belief. And the way that you do this is you firstly understand that it's just a limiting belief. It's just based on fear. It's based on maybe the perspectives of other people who are also holding fear. And so you can counter this by starting to repeat positive affirmations to yourself. So a lot of people will roll their eyes at this idea. But the idea behind this is that you start to really internalize more positive thoughts about yourself and then your subconscious mind slowly, slowly starts to adjust your thinking. And another way that you can do this is also to set new goals, set new intentions for the things that you want to achieve, the skills that you want to improve on and what else it is that you need to do in order to work towards this goal that you have. Another thing that you can also do is visualize yourself actually achieving that goal and that, that outcome. And then once you've done this, you need to take action. So this can sometimes be scary. It can be intimidating to try something new. But in order to actually, you know, fully get rid of that limiting belief, you need to start taking action towards your goal. And as you do this, as you start to take action and you, you've broken down your goals into you know, the steps that you're going to need to follow in order to actually reach the goal, and you start to take those actions, you will actually start to challenge that belief even more, that initial limiting belief, because now you're actually taking action. And so you start to learn, you start to improve, and then you actually end up reaching your goal. And then obviously, because you've reached your goal, those limiting beliefs, they start to lose power over you and you start to build confidence and you start to see yourself in a more positive light. So it's essential. You have to take action. You have to actually do something differently, start new habits in order to fully get rid of that limiting belief and to reaffirm the new positive beliefs that you've been affirming to yourself, right? And of course, you know, if, if your beliefs are a bit more deep rooted and deeply ingrained, which a lot of them are, you can also get the support of a therapist or a coach 
to help you identify those limiting beliefs and to help you really reframe them and work through them. But this is a process. It's not a once off thing. It's not something that you just do once. This will take practice. It will take consistency. But with, you know, perseverance and a positive attitude, you can completely get rid of those limiting beliefs and really just reaffirm those positive beliefs in yourself and start to work towards the life that you want.